guys, it's Combi, and I am back on my PC. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use multiple colors when trying to print on either a canvas or on a customized shirt. Uh, if you watch my first tutorial, you'll see how to use the auto drawer program, but now I'll be showing you one other program, and it is called GIMP. G I M P and you can download it for free as well. So let's get started and I'll show you how to separate the colors and then print them out. All right, so GIMP is a pretty simple program. It's a, like a free version, I guess, of almost like Photoshop or a drawing app. But anyway, there's a lot of functionality here. I highly recommend the program. Um, we're going to open up a simple B photo that I have, a cartoon drawing, and I'll show you how to separate the colors. Alright, here we go. So it's just very simple. I'm going to do white for the wings, black, and then yellow. So I'll have the color of the shirt white, so I'll really only be showing you two colors, but the same principle applies to really as many colors as you'd like. Uh, I would recommend for this program uh, just using very simple photos, something more detailed. You would need uh, a more detailed program or a CB2 printer. So, All right, guys, so now that I have this file open, I'm going to copy it over as many times as I want different colors, so in this case just black and yellow. I am going to go over here, select this uh, select by color tool. I'm going to start with black, so I'm going to select black and it will pick all the black pixels out. Then I'm going to go to my second file and go to the fill and make sure that you have the color selected that you want, so in this case black, and that your fill type is FG color fill, so it'll fill in every single black selection, not just um, pieces. So here we go. All right, now that we have that filled, before you do anything further, go to select and invert. It'll select everything but the black and hit clear. So now you could kind of see, it might be a little bit small on your screen, but you could see that now the only items um, in this photo are the black, uh, is the black outline. So we'll do the same for the yellow. So go back to our color selection tool, click on the yellow, go to the third photo. We want a yellow color. You could pick a yellow over here or you could just click on the, using the color dropper hit OK and fill that in. Select Invert, Edit, Clear. All right, so now we have our photo into three different copies. So we have it into the yellow. This is just the eye of what you could see and the black. So we'll want to save two copies uh, of the photo. So one with just the black visible and one with just the yellow visible, so you'll want to go up here, export as. Uh, I already saved these files, but just make sure you export them as, I would say, a PNG file. I find that to be the easiest to use. And now let's go head over to Rec Room and the auto drawing program to put together the two colors. All right, so now I'm going to take out my handy dandy clothing customizer. And I have it set to white right now, so that's good. I'm going to I'm going to start with the yellow because I think doing the black outline afterward afterwards um, because there might be some overlap, it'll look better than yellow over the black. Um, and this is the same principle really as screen printing. This is how they print shirts in real life. Um, so you want to set up the drawing, then head over to your auto drawer upload the picture of the yellow parts of the bee. 
here's the first one. Um, I am going to make sure my black threshold is actually set really high. That way every place that there is color, which in this case is just yellow, it's going to print a pixel. Uh, the interval, I'll put to, I guess, 50,000. And I'll keep diagonal and transparency threshold set, process image, and hit start. All right, I'll find, try and center this up. And when I hit shift, I'm going to hold down my right key. Alright guys, so now that I have the yellow set up and I saved it, um, so we don't have to go back and redo it if I make a mistake lining up the second piece, I'm going to open up the black file, process the image with the same settings, hit start, and try and line this up. This is the hardest part, it's just lining it up. That should be good. There we go. So you might still have to do some touch-ups afterwards, but at least the majority of the picture should be filled out. So now what I'll do is I will do some touch-ups. So I will throw this marker away, do some touch-ups, and get rid of that black line. There we go. It's not 100% perfect, but like I say, it's free. Can't complain. There we go. All right, and just got to touch up the yellow. Lastly, we'll do the black afterwards. Throw that away. And black. And I probably should have saved this before I did the touch-ups, but we'll just cross our fingers that I don't make a big boo-boo. I have to give him a happy face, obviously. There we go. <laughs> Not the prettiest happy face, but you get the point. So, yeah. Here we go. We got a drawn out printer bot shirt that you could easily do on your computer. Hope this tutorial helped. And I'll see you guys later this week. Thank you.